the moment when more than 30,000 Al-Qaeda rockets, shells and mortar were put well and truly out of action. Nicknamed Jessica, Donna, Amanda and Daisy, the four caves containing the arsenal were detonated simultaneously, sending a huge cloud of dust and flame hundreds of feet into the air. I had travelled to the mountain by Chinook, the dusty rocky slopes difficult to access, an ideal hiding place for Al-Qaeda. In Cave Donna, before it was destroyed, I saw a staggering array of weapons, all live and ready for use. The troops here are amazed at the amount of ammunition found in these caves, Chinese rockets, high explosive rounds and anti-tank weapons, and many of them still in their packaging and evidence that they were in use as recently as a few days ago. The sites themselves were, uh, were insecure. Um, there was a clear sign that uh, people had made entrance uh, to the caves uh, fairly recently. A number of the munitions had been disturbed and there was evidence that uh, some of it had been dragged, uh, at least to the entrance to the caves. For the commando engineers, opening the caves was a delicate operation. Obviously the local warlords or militia are going to protect their ammunition, so therefore um, we go on the principle that there is a booby trap in there before we go into the cave itself, so therefore, yeah, it's of a uh, high threat to us. 40 metres long and in places stacked to the ceiling with munitions, Cave Donna was clearly a major stockpile for Al-Qaeda. Add to that the three other caves and dozens of sticks of plastic explosive had to be placed to put the stockpile out of use. The blasts which completed the job cheered by the soldiers watching. The largest I've ever seen anyhow and I think it'll be the largest I see for a long time as well other than the caves in this area. I didn't think it was going to be as big as it was. It was quite a shock. I just thought it was going to obviously pierce through the ground and have a you know, bit of smoke but that was just unbelievable. So a massive series of linked explosions denies Al-Qaeda and Taliban the use of these caves ever again. More explosions are continuing behind me as the munitions that were contained in those caves go off. But the search for more caves and more munitions continues in these hills near the border with Pakistan. Paul Brennan, Sky News, Afghanistan.